this is a collection of songs that I've been writing for those eight years that I did the Chet guitar tribute album I did, and I did another guitar, uh, very self-indulgent kind of project called Guitar Laboratory. And I didn't realize, but I, I kind of, over the years, those seven or eight years, I've been writing a lot, which I always do. I just write, 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 and tuck them away or pitch, whatever. But these are songs that I just really felt that were for me, Taylor written for me. And that's what this album is. It's just a collection of my favorites. And I think the, some of my, my best writing in, in several years. I wrote a song on the new album, It Ain't All Bad. Uh, there's a song on there that's really special to me. I wrote it with Bill Anderson and Tom Shapiro. And Bill came with the idea of a song called I Want to Be Like You. But the twist on it and the perspective of, was from the father looking at the, his son grow and the whole perspective was, you know, I see all these beautiful things in my child. The chorus is sometimes I look at you and can't believe somebody as good as you could really come from me. I may never grow up, but if I ever do, I want to be like you. Son, I want to be just like you. And it's really a cool story of a perspective of a father, you know, looking at his kids. And in my case, I have two sons and uh, I see that it was really very realistic for me. I'm always thinking of my perspective, my own life, you know, like it's, a, it's called A Brand New Day. That's a new song on this album. That's totally about what was going on in my life at the time my mother passed away about a year ago. And that song was written around right after that time. It's kind of ironic though, the song is not about a sad, you know, what you would think it might be a story song or a sad song. It's a real hard driving, rock and rolling, country song that's a, just talking about if you listen to the lyrics or read the lyrics you might interpret that way that it's kind of I've been you know coming out of the darkness and want to I'm, I'm here to play and I'm back I'm back so to speak and I thought that was a nice little twist that it was not a downer kind of a song most of my songs are written from a real personal perspective you know it's something in my life something that's happened to me something that I know about honestly I think anybody any songwriters any any writer's uh, best work comes from what they really experience or what they really are going through at the time. You could probably follow writers and just you you know what they're going through in their world in their world because of what they're saying. If you just put it all together and connected the dots, you know that's their life. I thought that too when we wrote that. I wrote that with Rick Carnes, and he he and I write a lot. We wrote Long Neck Bottle together for Garth, and we write a lot together. He's a fantastic songwriter. But I, I, I thought that too, that's be a, really a, such a positive, you know, I can see forever whenever I see you. I really love that positive twist on it and, and all the imagery about, you know, when you say I do. And yeah, I've, I've imagined that's gonna be at some weddings maybe. That record I think kind of stands out among the other songs on my album because I think because of the way the background vocals are recorded. Just sort of the production uh, techniques, you know, I did a little program drum on that one. No other song on the record has that. And so I wanted this one to kind of stand out just a little bit. And it's very sparse, you know, it's not, it's almost minimalistic. Other than the background vocals, it's pretty understated, you know, so I wanted the background vocals to kind of be, aside from the lyric, I wanted the background vocals to be the next star, you know, so. But I really like this song. I love the, how positive it is. When you mention country lyrics to some people, the cliche is, oh, they're, you know, I got out of prison, my mom, you know, this and that, you know, all the cliches of country. In a way, it's that classic country topic that I come home, my, she left me, she left me a note, she's gone, I'm, you know, poor me. In this particular case, uh, the title emerges and it's what, you know, you, you left me, took everything, what more do you want? But the musically speaking, it's, it's, I wanted it to be George Harrison, Beatles almost, with a George Martin kind of, you know, and I wanted it to be more on that kind of feel, you know, more of a, almost retro in a way, but, but you know, more rock retro kind of thing, like Beatles-y. But the lyric is funny that it's real country, so, and so that two kind of merge and, and I didn't really know so much when it was happening that that's what, what I was doing, but I later kind of analyze and I feel like that's kind of what happens. In my process, I usually write and just try to write a great song. I try to come up with something that's very unique or clever or whatever. I just try to write something that, that 
I've heard Paul McCartney speak to it before where he, it's really about how it sounds, how it comes off your tongue. I know what he means a lot about that because it's, a lot of times I don't really have anything in mind that I'm going to write, but it's just the way it flows, the way it feels, something, and I may have a guitar riff and it just may, you know, something may just fall out and I'll say, sometimes I start without no title or anything and then I go, wow, that would be a good, that's a cool little riff, a cool hook, and then I'll just keep building around that.